Moose with Ross Monster, and today I want to show you around our latest Baja truck camper. Before we step inside, I'll talk about the exterior highlights of this build. To start out, all of our Bajas are built on aluminum frame with a composite shell and an articulating topper. So you see that the topper is in the lifted position right now, which shows our seven half side windows around the perimeter of the vehicle. But when you're ready to drive it, we'll lower it down and then you're nice and compact so you can get to some cool spots that some of the larger vehicles can't. Another nice thing about this configuration is that we have the pass through. So while you're driving, you always have access to the living area behind you, but it also is gonna work really well for sound deadening. So a really nice feature of the Baja truck camper is that you can actually listen to your audio book while you're on the road, which is different from some vans where you're in the living area and things are rattling around as you run down the road. So this build specifically is gonna be built on an F350 with an eight foot bed. We have the Fiamma awning up top. We also have an electric side step here so that you can enter the vehicle. We have our custom Ross Monster Max Trax table mounting system, and then we have a few more highlights in the front and the rear, so let's start in the front. In the front of the vehicle, we have a Honey Badger winch bumper, so that's gonna have the winch in it, as well as a 40-inch LED light bar. And then we have an additional 60-inch uh, Onyx 6 light bar up top. That's gonna be from Baja Designs as well. Let's check out the rear. In the rear of the vehicle, we have a custom Ross Monster Molly panel on one side. We have it on the other side as well, but we have our custom ski storage box affixed to it. So this is going to be a locking box, a great option so that you don't have to worry about anyone taking your skis while you are camped for the night. And then lastly, we have a custom rear bumper. Let's step inside. Welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this build, I'll talk about design highlights as well as layout. So when it comes to design, starting all the way up top, we have a white painted shiplap ceiling. All of our cabinetry is going to be white painted slab door. Moving down from there, our wall panels are going to be upholstered in Duramax silver. We have a gold stick-on backsplash that's going to be, or hex tile stick-on backsplash that's going to be in both the passenger side and driver's side galley. We have birch butcher block countertops. Our rear dinette is upholstered in crest leather and that's going to be in Regent sand and then all the way on the floor our floor is going to be Brentwood pine. When it comes to layout we have our cab over bed in the front as per usual along with our pass through. We have our wet bath here as you move back. We have our galley on both the driver's and passenger side and then we have that dinette in the rear which is also going to convert into our secondary sleeping area and house our power and plumbing systems. So I'm going to start in the front and we'll work our way back. Starting in the front of the vehicle, we have our cab over bed, so they're going to sleep uh, widthwise in the vehicle. We also have two half side windows at the front there, and you'll see that we have two fabric cubby covers so that you can utilize the storage area in the bulkhead of the vehicle as well. Lastly, in this area, we have reading lights at the head of the bed, as well as a charging nook here, so you can charge all your devices and store them there while you're sleeping. Moving rearward, we have our wet bath, so you'll see that the door here is intended to match the rest of the cabinetry. When you open it up, we have a 24 by 35 indoor shower. The walls are going to be brushed aluminum, and then we have a stainless steel shower pan in the bottom. On top of that, we have a custom teak shower grate insert, and we have an OGO composting toilet that is going to be stored in here as well. So this shower is going to telescope, so obviously it'll lower down when we take the top into the lowered position. And we also have a shower curtain here that you can lower down so that we're not damaging the shower door. Before we move into the galley, I'll just talk about briefly our pass through. So this allows you to kind of have access to the living area, gives you another entry point. It also has an insulated curtain, so that's going to make the driving experience in this vehicle really nice and quiet. Uh, additionally, we have a custom ladder so that you can get up into that bed. In the galley, we have our Birch Butcher Block countertops. We have a 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink with the cutting board insert. As we talked about, we have the hex stick on backsplash. That's going to be on both sides, so that'll be nice and easy to clean. Underneath our sink, we have storage for our 30 gallon freshwater tank. So this is going to be an opaque tank so you can kind of monitor your levels visually, but we also have a monitor on our system control panel up there. And then this can be used for some additional storage as well. Moving over to the passenger side, again, we have those birch countertops. We have a 20 inch flip up countertop extension. We have a single burner true induction cooktop. Underneath that, we have a Cruise 85 isotherm fridge with a small freezer up top. 
And then we just have this nice open cabinet that's gonna have a little rod up top so they can hang some of their clothing items if they want to, and a 700 watt microwave up top here. Moving into the rear, we have our dinette. So this is gonna be upholstered in crest leather, region sand. Uh, this is a nice place to just hang out. We have a table here on a lagoon mount, so this can kind of swivel in and out of the way. Other nice things about this dinette are that we are going to have storage for our power systems and our plumbing systems, and we can convert it into our secondary sleeping area. So starting on the passenger side, we have our power systems. So in this vehicle, we have 800 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter and we have 400 watts of solar coming in through the top. Moving over to the driver's side, we have our plumbing systems. So we have that 30 gallon freshwater tank that's gonna extend underneath our sink as well. And this is where we're gonna store our aqua hot hydronic heat and hot water system, which will service our, our sink, our indoor shower, as well as our outdoor shower and keep this vehicle four season capable in the winter months. Lastly, if we go ahead and lift up this cushion, we can flip over this side of the um, bench seat and turn that into a secondary sleeping area for two um, pretty roomy and comfortable there as well. Closing out this area, I'll touch on ventilation. So we have the seven half slides around the perimeter, those two in the front as well. Those are obviously not visible when you have the top in the lowered position, but also here we have two Arctic turn awning style windows. So these are really nice because you have the blackout curtain coming down from the top and then we have a bug screen coming from the bottom. Additionally, we have a max air fan in the rear as well as over the cab over bed and a nomadic cooling 12 volt AC system in the center of the rig here. Closing out the interior of this vehicle, we also have lighting. So we have dimmable LED overhead dome lighting down the center of the vehicle. We also have mood dimmable over cab lighting. We have under cabinet lighting. And then lastly, we have the toe kick, which is one of my personal favorites, along with two reading lights in the sleeping area. That wraps up this Baja tour. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. I hope you have a great rest of your day.